of the front page. We've, uh, we've got the political battle for Europe. This is the political battle to be m the new mayor of London. Um, and Sadiq Khan, according to this story, um, have raising fresh questions about his approach to Islamist extremism. Yeah, I'm slightly surprised that uh, the Sunday Times is, is, um, is pushing this story, especially after all the hot water Zach Goldsmith got into this week over running such a sort of racialized campaign. I don't think there's any fresh information in this. Um, I also think that you could probably link any politician to an extremist if you tried hard enough. Um, this, this dates back to a conference in 2003. Dates back to a conference in 2003 where he spoke alongside Yasser al-Siri, who had been sentenced to death in Egypt over a political assassination attempt that left a young girl dead. Now, I find this actually really, really dangerous, and I don't know where, I don't know where um, the Sunday Times and indeed Zach Smith Goldsmith's campaign think they're going with this, um, trying to deliberately create divide in such a multicultural city and where no divide existed before. Zach Goldsmith all of last week got into trouble quite rightly for uh, this sort of racial dog whistling that he's been doing, um, for sending out leaflets to um, London uh, Indian communities that seem to be sort of racially charged campaigning against Sadiq Khan. I think it's absolutely outrageous and I'm really shocked that the Sunday Times is persisting and I, I think we're correct in saying, or yeah, there is actually a quote that spoke from Sadiq Khan said he'd done nothing wrong, adding this is desperate stuff. He's always been totally honest about his time as a leading human rights lawyer, which yeah. does add another aspect to the fact. Well, to the fact that he's, yeah. I don't think this is um, uh, the Zach campaign, you know, trying to play the race card. Um, and, you know, Zach Goldsmith isn't actually linked to this story. This is a story uh, uncovered by the Sunday Times' own investigations team. Um, and it's, I think if, if this was the first or even the second story uh, linking Sadiq Khan to Islamic extremists, then maybe you could accuse people on the Tory side of focusing on this, of making a mountain out of a molehill. But it's not. I mean, there have been several now, uh, maybe half a dozen, uh, links between Sadiq Khan and various Islamic extremists, not just convicted terrorists, but apologists for the Islamic State. But because Holocaust he was deniers. acting as a human rights lawyer. He was acting lawyer. as a human rights lawyer, and it's just mudslinging, Toby. Well, it's just mudslinging. It's trying to smear a man's personality because he's a Muslim. That's it. There's nothing more to it than that. I don't think and it I is. And I think it's really I don't think it awful is. that I don't you think should it is. sit here I don't think it is and defend him. something so awful and I think, I, think, I think it's legitimate if someone is running for the mayor of London, the question given, should be given, asked. Given that yeah. London Ask the questions is, is, un, is already Fine. been attacked once by Islamic terrorists mm. and may yet be attacked yeah. again, you have and, and the person will be in charge of the Metropolitan Police. Effectively, mm. it's legitimate to ask what their position right. is it on is. Islamic okay. extremism, it is. whether they're soft and he's on Islamic it. extremism. And, and it looks as though he has a bit of a blind spot when you it comes to question, Islamic extremism, like his leader Jeremy Corbyn, this is a smear who he nominated. Campaign. I don't think it is. Okay. Let's let's reflect on the middle of. The